This will be the last time I speak to many of you. I expect many will not return after this. I feel there is a connection many of you are not making when it comes to control. Who you blame. Who you hate. The pure anti-Semitic society, even those who separate the Hebrews from the Zionists, never seem to differentiate between them and the oil companies. Many of you seem to think there is one small group controlling this entire planet. As convenient an avenue as that seems, it is false. The war has started and we are merely in trouble of getting in the way. There are two groups, each as bad as the other, but separate and apart. Allow me to explain. Let's start with George Soros. In the mid to early 2000s, he began pouring his money into alternative energy. He even began advising people against investments in oil. I invite you to investigate when the internet decided to start slamming George Soros. You know where I'm going with this. I'm not taking his side. As I said, each side is as bad as the other and Soros is greedy and power hungry just like the oil companies. But you must consider what is real versus what someone wants you to believe. Anyone care to venture a guess as to which elite family has gone strongest for alternative energy? That's right. I can think of no name that is a greater threat to the oil companies than Rothschild. Again, I'm not taking their side. If you know about what they did when Napoleon came knocking, you know there is so much blood on their hands. And if you know what their true wealth and influence is, you realize we do not all get an equal say in this world. But you have to realize that this has been true for hundreds of years. And now that they've put their money where their mouth is, under the bus they go. It's not that they're good. It's why they're being exposed. Perhaps you need a better example. The seven magnitude quake in Mexico. To the hour matching the quake drill. Nobody on YouTube can say for sure if this was man-made, but that is some damning evidence. But caused by who? You think Obama did this with his daughter right there? What are you thinking? Unless you are blind, you know Obama put his stock in solar energy. He had no plans whatsoever to approve that oil pipeline. But wouldn't you know it? A day after he feared for his daughter, he approved part of that pipeline. Then he made it more difficult for Chinese solar panels to enter the country. He even gave a big speech about the future of American oil. You think he didn't just get woke the hell up? This thing isn't what we all think. And part of this is all interconnected and it plays off each other and they are partners in crime to a certain extent, but there is, in addition to the serious lack of humanity on both sides, it is clear that they are separate and at least to a certain extent the oil boys run the show, even without the White House. Now all these house resolutions and executive orders everyone's screaming about, these have legitimate implications if you just think about what they could be, in addition to what rightly appears to be threatening our freedom. Now as a community, we have recognized the existence of a control paradigm beyond what is obvious to the everyday person. But many among us have failed to do more than be exposed for the hasty hate-filled individuals that Alex Jones is flushing out right now. All those looking to fight a cop, fight a guy in a suit, you are being flushed out. They aren't coming for Alex Jones, they aren't coming for Dutch Sense or anyone else, they're not putting them in FEMA camps. Can you imagine them trying to take our guns? Think about it. All they did was make us arm ourselves. You know what those FEMA camps are for? All you guys going out in the street when the lights go out, when you know the cops aren't coming. Some of you are far more controlled than the sheep you rail on every day. No, I'm not here to tell you to pick a side. The oil companies run the military industrial complex while the bankers could bring down the only thing that each of them lives for, inequality, on their own terms. Instead, take your own side. This war has started and we are so much more powerful than you realize. Do some investigation of your own. Our job is to discern what we can do about the outcome. Be safe, everyone.